Darling Heart and welcome to the Drink Less, Live Better podcast. This is the podcast that helps you to see that drinking less doesn't need to be stressful, lonely or boring. I'm your host, Sarah Williamson, and I decided to have a year alcohol-free as a little life experiment and haven't looked back. With my experience and training, I now help other women with their alcohol-free or drink-less adventures. I'm here to tell you that you can be truly joyful without alcohol in your life. Join me here each week to find out how. Today, I'd like to tell you a story about my self-judgment. I used to be a total div about anyone who wasn't drinking, both behind their back and to their face, offering up really useful gems such as go on you could just have one or it'll be more fun if you drink and if you have some soda in your white wine it becomes a soft drink. Of course this says everything about me and nothing about them. If you were reading this instead of listening you'd see I've inserted the rolling eye emoji here. I couldn't fathom why or how people went out to a party or other night out and didn't drink, and I couldn't understand because I had no frame of reference for it myself. I'd never done it unless I was pregnant, breastfeeding, or on medication. I mean, those are surely the only reasons you wouldn't drink, right? Wrong, obviously. People now ask me why I'm not drinking, and I see it as payback, or karma, if you will. Because I've been that person, I know what to do with that person. I'm always happy to say I just feel better in life overall when I'm not drinking. I don't make a big deal out of it. I have one friend who has never drunk, and when we were chatting recently, she said I always wanted to know how she did it, because she could see deep down it's what I wanted too. She's definitely right, and I'm eternally grateful she never shut me down when I was being a pain. I was recognising something in myself that I wasn't comfortable with. Seeing other people drunk gives me fleeting moments of unhappiness. I recognise past me drunk and acting like an idiot. I judge the parts of me I didn't like about myself. I understand the other person is me, a reflection of the parts of me I'm not so keen on, and this is uncomfortable, and something I take the time to think about whenever it happens. I change my self-judgment focus to compassion and this helps me to soothe those awkward emotions. Ah yes, that was me and now it isn't. I aim for uncomplicated and loving towards myself. And you, you should go easy on yourself too. Treat yourself as you would your best friend or that non-drinking friend. Thank you for listening to this episode. Please listen in again next time. You can sign up to my five-day Drink Less experiment and find out about working with me one-to-one at drinklesslivebetter.com. Oh, and I'd love it if you could five-star rate this podcast and leave me a review. It'd make me very happy. Thank you. And P.S. I believe in you. you.